Hello, my friends. Peace and blessings. Welcome back to another practice. My name is Ben. Today we'll get started standing at the top of the mat. As you come into your standing position, have your feet about hips width distance apart. Rotate your palms to face forward out in front of you and come into a strong posture, meaning lift through the top of the head. Feel the shoulders settling down your back. Maybe you very slightly engage your thighs or glutes even just for a second, just to feel where you're at. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, make a sound. Deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale with a sound. One more, deep breath in. Let it go. Sweep arms to the sky, inhale. Bend the knees, forward fold as we exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fingertips down, left foot reaches all the way to the back of the mat and drop the left knee down. Inhale, reach arms to the sky, low crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands down to the ground, downward facing dog. Take one full breath all the way in. Take a breath out. Inhale, reach your left leg to the sky for three-legged down dog. Exhale, step all the way through top of the mat. Think hips to the sky to make room to step through. Drop the right knee down. Arms sweep up. Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Top of the mat. Bend the knees. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. So getting right into the rhythm of things. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Shift the weight toward the toes, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold fingertips down, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, sweep arms to the sky, lift your energy up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps back to the right foot. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Bend into the knees. This time roll and ripple forward to a plank pose. From plank pose, all we're gonna do is drop the knees to a hover, scoop the hips back, think cow pose, as we lift the butt back up to the sky for downward facing dog. And then let's inhale the right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, step all the way forward, top of the mat, low crescent, drop the knee, inhale, rise, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, fold, top of the mat. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. Engage the glutes a little bit at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center, relax. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps back, left knee gently drops down. Inhale, arms sweep to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, step back. Inhale, roll and ripple forward to plank pose. Exhale, knees to a hover, scoop the hips back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot, top of the mat, drop the right knee down. Inhale, sweep up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, rise to standing, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands lower down to your heart. Inhale, sweep arms back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinge and bow forward. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, right foot all the way back, gently drop right knee down. 
Inhale, sweep arms to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here or inhale, ripple forward into a plank pose. Just to exhale, wave it right back. Inhale, reach right leg to the sky. Exhale, step right foot forward. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, sweep arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Arms come up with you. Exhale, bring hands down to your heart. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, fold, and just feel this continuous rhythm. Inhale, halfway lift just for a bit longer. Exhale, left foot steps all the way back. Left knee gently drops. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay there or ripple forward into plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, roll back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot top of the mat. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, rise. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Ordva Hastasana. Up with the arms. Exhale, pull the hands to your center and find your center. Inhale, expand up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step right foot back. Drop right knee down. Inhale, rise up into your lunge. Exhale, return to your downward dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank. Exhale, roll back, dog. Inhale, reach right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps top of the mat. Drop the left knee down behind you. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up. Bring the arms with you. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up, last round. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps back, left knee drops down. Inhale, rise up to the sky, lunge. Exhale, return to your down dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, roll back to dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot through. Drop right knee, inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, Ordva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right foot steps back. Right knee drops down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms up. Exhale, Adho Mukhasvanasana, down dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank, Kumbhakasana. Exhale, press back to down dog. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps, top of the mat, drop left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, lunge. Exhale, Uttanasana, folds. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, lower the hands to your heart and then release hands by your sides. Rotate the palms to face forward. Take a few breaths here. Find the moment. <sighs> From this position, go ahead and float the left knee into the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior three, left leg reaches back behind you. Balance here for a moment. Go for a soft landing. Left toes land at the back of the mat. Slowly drop the left knee down as well. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Pyramid pose, try to use no hands. So pull the hips back and then hinge forward. Maybe reach the arms back behind you. Inhale to high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, warrior three. Deepen into it on the exhale. Inhale, left knee into the chest, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, place the left foot back down. Inhale, rise onto both sets of tiptoes. Stay here on the exhale. Stay here on the inhale. Exhale, relax the heels down. Inhale, the right knee into the chest. And then exhale, warrior three, as the right leg reaches to the space that we cannot see. Find the pose, and then see how slowly you can land right toes back of the mat, and then drop left knee down with care. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. We've been here so many times. 
Exhale, fold into pyramid. So really use the driving back of the right heel to find the pose. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, lean up. Inhale, shift into warrior three. And then stay in the posture on the exhale. Inhale, right knee pulls all the way into the chest, stand up. Exhale, place the right knee, right foot down rather. Rise onto the tippy toes. Option to lift the arms. We're just really testing our balance with this. That's really the intention of this movement. And then drop down. Left knee into the chest, inhale. Warrior three, exhale. Anjaneyasana, inhale, soft landing. Pyramid pose, exhale, swing it back. Heart reaches forward, hips reach back. Inhale, arms to the sky, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, lean out. Inhale, warrior three. Stay here on the exhale. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, left foot down. Inhale, rise onto the toes. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, right knee into the chest, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three, right, reach the right leg back. Inhale, Anjaneyasana with a soft landing of the right foot and the knee. And then exhale, pull the hips back and fold into pyramid. Inhale to high crescent lunge with a bend in the left knee. Exhale, hands to heart center, lean out. Inhale, warrior three, float into your balance. Stabilize here on the exhale. Inhale, pull right knee into chest. Exhale, place right foot on the ground. Inhale, rise onto both sets of tippy toes. Exhale, release back to the ground. Inhale, the left knee into the chest, arms up. Exhale, left leg reaches back, Virabhadrasana three. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, lunge with a soft landing. Exhale, pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana folds. Inhale, high crescent lunge, Chandrasana lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, lean out. Inhale, return to Virabhadrasana three. And then stay in the balance on the exhale. Inhale, pull left knee into the chest, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, release the left foot down. Inhale, rise onto tippy toes, find some good lift. Exhale, release back down. Inhale, right knee into the chest, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, reach back, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, find the lunge. Exhale, swing it back, pyramid pose, strong fold. Inhale, arms up to the sky, high crescent. Exhale, hands to heart, lean out. Inhale, shift forward, find balance, warrior three. And then stay here and embrace it on the exhale. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest, Ikapada Tadasana. Exhale, release the right foot down. Inhale, rise up to tippy toes. Exhale, heels come down. Final round, inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, warrior three. Amazing job, everybody. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, fold into pyramid. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, warrior three. Stay here on the exhale. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, place the left foot down. Inhale, rise up onto tippy toes. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, right knee comes into the chest. Exhale, warrior three, reach right leg back. Inhale, soft landing, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, fold into pyramid, super strong in the legs. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center, lean forward. Inhale, come forward into your balance. Stay here on the exhale. Inhale, right knee pulls up into the chest. Exhale, place the right foot back down onto the ground. Inhale, rise up into your tiptoe posture. Exhale, release the toes back down. Inhale, both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place the palms down, step back to plank pose. From plank pose, take a few moments in child's pose or just sit onto your shins. We just did a lot of balancing. Anytime we do a lot of balancing, I find it to be a nice thing to do to find something normal, something grounded, something close to the floor. So whether you're in child's pose or sitting upright like me, Take a few deep breaths and let your energy slow down. Mm. Come back to the moment. Let your breath soothe your own being. Let out a couple sighs. Ha. <sighs> Mm. 
and then return to tabletop position. A little nice stretch for the wrists. You can go ahead and flip one or both palms around, fingertips face backwards. You could take some cat cows or you could just rock the weight around a little bit and just find a little opening. This class is definitely focused on the legs, but it's nice to still involve the arms and involve the hands because everything we do in yoga is truly a full body pose. If you want to take another wrist stretch, what you can do is bring the fists together and then bring the backs of the hands to the mat. And then you can kind of bend and straighten the arms and just kind of like a gorilla stretch into the tops of the hands. Now let's come to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, let's lift right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And then step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Rise into a high crescent lunge. From high crescent lunge, bring the hands to heart center. Lean out, warrior three. All right, we're going to try something, a little shrimp squat. So we'll bend the left knee, and then we'll start to squat down. And we'll try to tap the left knee kind of to the space behind the right heel. And then we'll rise up with the left knee into the chest. We'll lower down for one more shrimp squat. So tap the left knee down. And then we'll rise up to stand, left knee into the chest. And then we'll take a dancer's pose. So connect left hand to left foot or ankle and then expand from that space. Let it go. Both feet on the ground is a welcome sight. <laughs> Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place the hands down, step back. You could flow to down dog if you want to take a chaturanga, then an up dog, or just go right into your downward facing dog. From here, let's lift left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, and then step left foot through to the top of the mat, come into a high crescent lunge, and then bring the hands to your heart. Lean out into warrior three, just as our starting pose, and then we're bending the right knee, we're bending both knees actually, and coming into our shrimp squat. So we try to tap right knee down to the ground to the space behind our left heel, and then rise up, drive up to standing, and then give it one more. So shrimp squat, tap the right knee behind you, and then rise up to standing, drive through your left heel, and then work into Nataraj, dancer's pose. Use that strength you've been creating in the legs to find your expansion. Release. Right foot to the ground. Whew. Arms up. Inhale. Forward fold as we exit. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, place the palms down, step back, and mosey your way toward down dog. If it includes a vinyasa, then feel free to do that. Right, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Let's try again. You've got this. Step right foot through for high crescent lunge. Arms up to the sky. Bring hands to heart center. Lean out, warrior three. Tap the left knee down for a shrimp squat. Take your time. Rise back up, one-legged tadasana. Tap the left knee down behind you, shrimp squat. Okay, let's try something. Feel free to use your hands for this. Once you tap the knee down, shift back, tuck your toes, and then we're shifting and sitting back into a pistol squat. And then you have the option to do a full pistol squat on the left leg. And then if you come up, you get the reward of the journey back down. And then we'll shift forward, and the right foot is down. We pull the left knee into the chest, and then we take dancer's pose. Okay, it's a little chaotic, I know. <laughs> so feel free to try that again. You can rewind. You can go slower than me. Right? But we're just really getting into the single leg squats. Go ahead and release the foot. Really nice strength building practice. Amazing job if you're flowing with me. Arms up, take an inhale. Forward fold, take an exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Place the palms down, step back. You could take your chaturanga and up dog, or if you're like me, then today we're skipping it. 
Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Step left foot through, top of the mat, high crescent lunge. Arms to up. Bring hands to heart, lean out, warrior three. But then quickly bend both knees and pursue the shrimp squat as we tap the right knee down on the ground. Tuck the right toes and begin to sit back toward your right heel. And then option to take the full pistol squat. Not required, just an option. And then shift forward. Use your hands as much as you want. Eventually the right knee pulls into the chest. One-legged Tadasana, and then we go right into our Natarajasana, dancer's pose. Let it go. Come back to standing. My friends, we have one more round. That is it. And then we're going to wind it down. All right, you've got this. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant palms, step back. You can flow your way to down dog or just go ahead and find downward facing dog. Last round, right leg to the sky. Right leg steps forward. High crescent, arms to the sky. Hands to heart center, lean out, warrior three. Immediately bend both knees and begin pursuing the shrimp squat. Tap the left knee down as lightly as you can. Sit back and maybe you move into the pistol squat with assistance from your hands. Option to come up. And if you come up, you get the reward of your journey back down. And then shift forward onto the right foot. Pull the left knee into the chest. And then one final dancer's pose. Quite the journey. So if you're still sticking with me, thank you for kind of going through the fire with me. I appreciate it. It means a lot. This time, release the foot, but keep the foot floating. Step back right into down dog. No funny business. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Step through, find the top of the mat. Reach arms up to the sky. Bring hands to heart center, lean up. Warrior three, and then immediately bend both knees. Right knee down for a little shiva squat, or excuse me, a little um, shrimp squat. And then sit back. Pistol, challenge yourself, option to rise all the way up, option to come all the way down. Shift forward. As you do so, pull the right knee into the chest, one-legged Tadasana. And then your final standing posture of the practice, dancer's pose. Let it go. Find yourself in standing. Find a certain calmness. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place the hands down, step back. You could flow if you want. Chaturanga up dog or just flow right into your down dog. Push the ground away, lengthen through your side bodies. Be strong in your legs. Maybe take a little bend in the knees to give you some bounce, some buoyancy. All right, we have one more lunge for the day. It's a low grounded lunge and then we're totally winding down. All right, so go ahead and lunge your right foot up to the top of the mat. Drop your left knee down. Lift up with your arms. And then the challenge is to reach the right, so we're twisting. Reach the right hand back toward the left heel and you see if the connection is there. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. If it is there, you can use the connection to back bend. Use all the space we've been creating. Use all the strength we've been creating. Slowly release. Down dog. We're just doing that once on each side and then we're done. So when you're ready, bend the knees and then lunge left foot top of the mat. Rise up into your lunge, twist a little bit more to the left side of your space and then left hand pursues right ankle. Maybe you find the connection, maybe you don't. Just reaching for the connection is valuable space to practice in its own right.
Release when you're ready, child's pose. Or just another upright seated position. Take five breaths. After about five breaths, go ahead and lift up enough to uh, bring your legs around and lay on your back. I'm actually gonna lay this way so that you can see me a little better. As you lay down on your back, take a few moments in Supta Bada Konasana, reclined, bound angle. Feet are together and the knees open out wide. You can rest the palms face up by your sides, or if you want to place the palms on the body, that can be a nice thing to do as well. Take a moment to slow down time, to remind yourself that you're here in this moment, in this experience, in this body, in this mind. Extend the left leg long, pull the right knee into the chest, and then let's twist the right leg across the body. Right knee can stay bent, or you can extend the right leg out. Just find what feels like a nice twist for you. Keep reaching away with the right arm, heavy in the right shoulder, and give yourself time to breathe. Release your foot if you have it. Release your knee if you have it. Come through center. And then we'll very gradually switch sides. You're welcome to bring the left knee in. Find your cross body twist. Adjust as needed. And then tap into a little bit of a deeper space with your breath. We take this time to value the slow parts of our practice because just as it's valuable to speed up and get things moving, we balance that within ourselves when we slow down and find stillness because it's only good to be able to hit the gas if you also know how to hit the brakes. Otherwise, you'll end up driving over the median and getting in an accident. So. And we want to learn how to hit the, hit the gas and really get stuff done and get our energy moving and accomplish our goals. But we also have to learn how to pull into the garage, take a deep breath, maybe get on the couch or get in bed with some covers and find stillness and find rest. It's what brings us back into the center of our own being.
in through center. Bring yourself back to the middle of your mat, the middle of your circumstances. Extend the legs out, prepare for Shavasana. You can take a couple minutes just to find complete rest, complete stillness. Shavasana is when we turn the lights out. Instead of looking out the windows, we look inward. We seek to understand the nature of our being. We don't control the mind or the breath. We just watch and we observe and we see what sort of insights might bubble their way to the surface. We take this moment to become nothing, to erase the canvas so that we have the opportunity to start fresh when we get up in a few minutes. But for now, embrace the opportunity to rest Take some little movements in your fingers. Maybe move the toes around. Notice the subtle movements. If you feel ready, you could blink your eyes open. You're welcome to roll over onto your right or left side. And then slowly and steadily, we'll begin to lift ourselves up into a seated position. Sit however you like. Bring the hands to heart center. I'm gonna share a mantra with you um, that essentially means, may all beings in all realms or universes in all times and spaces be happy free and free from suffering and its causes. The mantra is Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. 
I'll go ahead and chant it three times. If you know it, you can join, or just feel free to listen and receive the prayer from me to you. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 I bow to all of you and all of your efforts just as I bow to all beings especially any beings experiencing suffering we send them strength, we send them joy we send them the ability to move through their obstacles Thank you, my friends, for joining for another practice. Thanks for building some strength with me today as well as some mindfulness. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I hope to see you soon on the mat. And until next time, peace.